Okay, so let's have this topic. Solving for the integral of rational functions. So we have this the integral of du over u. That's equal to ln. Then the absolute value of u plus c. So we have this given. So evaluate the integral. So in this case, u is equal to the denominator. That's x squared minus 3x plus 4. Then to solve for the derivative of u, so derivative of x squared, that's 2x, and derivative of negative 3x, that's negative 3. Then for 4, this one is 0, so du is 2x minus 3 dx. Then since on the given, the numerator is 2x minus 3 dx, so therefore we can use now the u substitution. So we have the integral of 2x minus 3 dx, which is equal to du. And this x squared minus 3 plus 4, that's equal to u. Then using this formula, that the integral of du over u is equal to ln. Then the absolute value of u plus c. So we have now ln, then the absolute value of u plus c. Then substitute now the value of u. That's equal to x squared minus 3x plus 4. So ln, then the absolute value of x squared minus 3x plus 4 plus c. And then for this given, so first we need to put this constant outside. So we have now 6 times the integral of dx over 3x minus 2. Then using the u substitution, so u is the denominator, that's 3x minus 2. Then for derivative of u, so derivative of 3x, that's 3, and this one is 0, so du is 3 dx. But on the given, the numerator is only dx, so therefore we need to divide both sides by 3, then cancel 3. So du over 3 is equal to dx. Then substitute now. So we have 6 then the integral of dx which is equal to du over 3. And this 3x minus 2 that's equal to u. Then put this denominator 3 outside. So we have now 6 over 3 times the integral of du over u. Then using this formula, so simplify this 6 over 3, that's equal to 2. Then we have ln absolute value of u plus c. Then substitute the value of u, that's 3x minus 2. So we have 2 ln, then the absolute value of 3x minus 2 plus c. Then for this given, so we need to simplify this equation first. Since we can factor out this quadratic equation, so using the quadratic factoring, so we have now the integral of x plus 2, then factors for 2x squared, that's 2x times x, factors for negative 6, that's 3 and 2. To check the factors, we're going to use this pyramid multiplication. So 3 times x, this one is 3x. And 2x times 2, this one is 4x. Then since the middle term is positive x, so to get positive x, so therefore, this 3x is negative. So the factors now, that's 2x minus 3 and x plus 2. Then we can uh, cancel this x plus 2. So this is now the new equation. That's 1 over 2x minus 3. Then using the u substitution. So u is the denominator. That's 2x minus 3. Then derivative of u. So derivative of 2x. That's 2. Then for this one is 0. So du is 2dx. But in our equation, we only have this 1dx for the numerator. So divide by 2 both sides. 
So du over 2 now is equal to dx. Then substitute. So we have the integral of 1 dx which is equal to du over 2. Over 2x minus 3 that's equal to u. Then put this uh, denominator outside. That's 1 half. Then the integral of du over u. So using this formula. So 1 half, then ln absolute value of u plus c. Then substitute now the value of u, that's 2x minus 3. So 1 half, then ln absolute value of 2x minus 3 plus c. Then for this given, so to simplify this equation, we're going to use a long division. So this 4x plus 14 divide by x plus 4. Then to perform a long division, so we have 4x divide by x, that's 4. Then multiply, so 4 times x, that's 4x, and 4 times 4, that's 16. Then add, so change the sign, so this positive becomes negative, and this positive also becomes negative. So this 4x minus 4x, this one is 0. Positive 14 minus 16, that's negative 2. So this negative 2 is the remainder. So to write this one in equation form, so we have now an uh, integral of 4. Then since the remainder is negative, so therefore minus 2 over x plus 4, then dx. Then integrate every term. So we have the integral of 4 dx, then minus the integral of 2 over x plus 4 dx. Then put this constant outside. So we have 4 times the integral of dx, then minus 2 times the integral of 1 over x plus 4 dx. Since we can find the integral of dx, but for this term, we're going to use the u substitution. So u, that's x plus 4, then du, so derivative of x, that's 1, dx. Then simplify, so that's 4, then integral of dx, that's x, then minus 2, times the integral of 1 dx, that's du, and this x plus 4, that's u, then simplify, so we have now 4x minus 2, then ln absolute value of u plus c, then substitute now the value of u, that's x plus 4, so 4x minus 2, then ln absolute value of x plus 4, plus c. Then for this given, so the same process, we need to simplify this one using the long division. So 3x squared minus 12x plus 11 divided by x minus 3. So to do long uh, division, so we have 3x squared divided by x, that's 3x, then multiply, so that's 3x squared. This one 3x times negative 3, that's negative 9x. Then add, so change the sign, this one is negative, this becomes positive. So negative 12x plus 9x, that's negative 3x. Then bring down this positive 11, then divide, so this negative 3x divided by x, that's negative 3. Multiply, so negative 3 times x, negative 3x, then negative 3 times negative 3. That's positive 9, then add, so this negative becomes positive and this positive becomes negative, so this one is 0, then positive 11 minus 9, that's positive 2, so this positive 2 is the remainder. Then to write this one in equation form, so we have the integral of 3x minus 3, then since the remainder is positive, so therefore, plus 2 over x minus 3. 
then dx. Then integrate every term. So we have now the integral of 3x dx minus integral of 3 dx. Then plus integral of 2 over x minus 3 dx. Then put the constant outside. So this 3 and this one is 2. So we have 3 times the integral of x dx. Then minus 3 times the integral of dx. Plus 2 times the integral of 1 over x minus 3 dx. Since we can find the integral of this term and also for this term, but for this term, we're going to use the u substitution. So u, that's x minus 3, and du, so derivative of x, that's 1, dx. Then uh, simplify, so we have now 3 times the integral of x dx. Since uh, integral of x to the power n is equal to xn plus 1 over n plus 1. And this x has one exponent. So 1 plus 1, that's x to the power 2 over 2. Then minus 3 times the integral of this uh, dx, that's equal to x. Then plus 2 times the integral of 1 dx, that's du, and this x minus 3, that's u. Then simplify using the formula. So this 2 put outside, that's 3 over 2, x squared, then minus 3x, plus 2, then ln absolute value of u, plus c. So substitute now the value of u, that's equal to x minus 3. So we have now 3 over 2x squared minus 3x plus 2, then ln absolute value of x minus 3 plus c.